Hello, hello, hello. Kenny Evans here, another car video. And the topic of this video is Derek Jackson admits cheating. So before we get into this, for anybody who's new, you know, like and subscribe, hit the notification button for whenever I do upload new videos, you'll be uh, notified of that. You know, so got that out of the way. Let's get into this. So Derek Jackson admits cheating. This is a very, very, very um, popular topic right now uh, here in the black manosphere specifically because Derek Jackson is known as a quoting quote unquote dating coach for women and he is the type of dating coach who mainly talks about how women are the victims and men should be um do better and women have no faults and to a certain extent it's okay but the main thing is he doesn't point out a lot of what the women do wrong so he panders to them. And while he panders to them, he gives them false hope that, oh, you know, they could just be however they are. They don't have to do anything and they will be all right. They could get any man they want being however way they are. So pretty much he provides false hope. You know, and he, he's also um, done a video, probably a few videos, in the past about how he has no respect for men who have cheated and that um you know a man who's been uh promiscuous in the past he should stay promiscuous if he's gonna cheat and he again he has no respect for a man who cheats you know and um pretty much saying that if he cheats he didn't have to get in a relationship he could have just done his own thing and let some other man some other man have that woman who's looking for a relationship, a monogamous relationship, and her not be cheating on. And obviously here he is cheating on his wife. And I believe there's been a couple of women who've come out already. You know what I mean? <laughs> so it's just kind of the the pot calling the kettle black. You know, so I he, and him and his wife did a, uh, I guess, a video about everything, at least not everything, just what they've been going through the past year and all that. And I'll link that in the description so you can watch it and let me know what you think about it. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's just kind of crazy. He talks bad about men who, who cheat, and here he is cheating. So, you know, so you guys have a little bit of a uh, understanding if you don't know who Derek Jackson is. Um, but here we go. So as we know, or you may not know, uh, men who, who cheat are not strong men. And that goes with Derek Jackson. Derek Jackson is not a strong man. He may look like a strong man. He's tall. You know, he got the look money status. But if you have to cheat on your woman, your girlfriend, you're not a strong man. A strong man will let his woman, his wife, girlfriend, whatever, let them know, hey, and it could be in the beginning. It could be, you know, in the middle when you feel it. Hey, I want to sleep with other women. But I still want to be with you. If you're cool with it, cool. If not, it was nice knowing you. And, you know, we should go our separate ways. Because I don't want to cheat on you. So I'm going to let you know what I want to do. Because, you know, I hate to say it. Things are getting stale in the relationship. Or, you know, this is just what I want to do. And I don't want to lie to you. So, and I don't want to do it behind your back. So I'm letting you know. That's what a strong man would do. Because at the end of the day, strong men 
are able to make tough decisions and have tough conversations. Not only with the women, but people in general. Because that's what strong people do. You know, so that is the first um, area he went wrong. And I get it. It's, you know, it's a tough decision and a tough conversation. And a lot of stuff could go wrong. You know what I mean? She may want to leave. She may not. But you got to have the conversation. See where she stands. You know, and um, so him and his wife have actually been together for 10 years. But they've been married for two. You know, so um, obviously they, they know each other very well. And um, they are very used to each other. But I'll get into that a little bit more and later on in the video here. But apparently his, his mistress told, or he told his mistress that his wife didn't satisfy him sexually in bed. So apparently, you know, she was doing all the things that his wife wasn't doing. He flew him out to Miami and they had uh, relations in the marital home. And it was it's just pretty bad considering who this guy says he portrayed himself to be. You know, I mean, it's pretty bad, you know. So, um, yeah, you know, and, and that's a big deal. You know, been together for a long time. Things get a little stale. You know, and um, apparently uh, they were just too comfortable with each other. You know, he was looking for something new. She didn't want to change things up, you know, and do anything different. So he decided to go out and um, get that something new on his own outside of the marriage without her permission or without letting her know. You know what I mean? Um, I've seen his wife. She's actually a she's a pretty girl. She's attractive. She is a little heavier set. You know what I mean? She's not fat, but she just got a little meat on her bones. Again, we see Derek Jackson, quote unquote alpha male, tall, good looking, good shape, got money, got the status. And sure, again, they have been together for about 10 years so they are very comfortable with each other um obviously um she probably doesn't feel that she didn't feel the need to um get in better shape and to keep up with her appearance because they've been together for so long they got two kids you know what i mean so it's like they were okay or she is okay with uh how their relationship was for the most part she's okay with it she didn't feel she needed to upgrade herself to keep him happy. And as it turns out to be, he has cheated in the past. You know, he married her because they had kids. They had a kid and he wanted to marry her. So it wasn't because he really wanted to be with her. You know, he stayed with her for this long because he, he felt, I'm sure he had to. Because that's the whole reason he married her, because he felt he had to, because she, he got her pregnant. You know, but with that being said, he did cheat in the past and more than likely he will cheat again because nothing was really resolved. Nothing really changed. You know what I mean? It's like, <laughs> I don't know, and I watched their whole little video about, you know, him admitting that he, he, he cheated or had some infidelity. He said the last time they went through something like this was in 2016. And he said, and she said, that would have been the last, after that, if he cheated again, it would have been the last time. <laughs> Lo and behold, you know, he cheated, I guess it was last year or maybe 2019. According to her, she was out of the house for a few months. He came over to wherever she was staying. He left empty handed, you know, and then he, according to her, his wife, 
you know, he apparently changed and made her believe that um, she that she could stay in a relationship with him and that he was really committed to being monogamous. And but he's cheated in the past. She even said in the whole video that, oh, you know, we've gone through the whole cheating and gone through the ups and downs. She thought they were in a good place. And 26 happened. 2016 happened. And she was about to leave, and she said, if it ever happened again, she'll leave. And then here we go, 2021, or 2020, whenever it happened, 2019, again, and she ended up staying with him. So, I mean, more than likely it will happen again, maybe a couple of years, but it will happen again. Because, again, she, in order for it to change, it will have to be either uh, he would really, she would have to leave and leave leave or he would truly get have to get tired of cheating and more than likely that would never happen you know so um well yeah 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 <laughs> i was watching the whole video and it seemed staged they were just too calm and i know he said he found god and she said she had prayed about it she'd gone through all the hurt and it just wasn't as as in uh as painful as it had been but it's just like, and she was like, oh, once a cheater, all the cheaters. She said she didn't believe in that. But it's like, what have you seen to show that it's not true? He's cheated on you with multiple, you know, multiple times before this. And then multiple people during this. Apparently, you know, allegedly there's two women who he cheated on through, during their little separation. They were separated. And that's, you know, and then that prolonged it. And, you know, what I mean, it's just. Oh, man. You know, so. Honestly, you know, it, it, it definitely shows that, you know, this is. It's just kind of what they do, you know, and they kind of had to stage this video. You know, obviously she wasn't upset and wanted to make people think that they had gone over it. And they, you know, Derek has found God and he's going to be more of a faithful and different man and. You know, I mean, it just seems staged to me. Obviously, they got to protect a brand and make sure that, you know, people don't lose faith in him or them. You know what I mean? So, it is what it is, you know what I mean? But at the end of the day, um, people are going to lose trust from him. Some of his fan base will lose trust from him. They'll get more bash bashing from, from, from men because he's, again, he doesn't seem very genuine. You know what I mean? And they didn't really go into too much detail about it, but it just didn't seem very genuine. But, you know, that's all I got for y'all here today. Um, again, if you enjoyed the video, like, comment, let me know if you agree or disagree with what I said. Of course, subscribe, hit that notification button to be notified um, about other videos I do. Um, also, you know, I do appreciate donations um, if you find value in the video. And of course, let me know what other topics you want me to talk about. Again, this video, this channel is not just for me. It's for you guys as well. And mainly for you guys. You know what I mean? Because I want to help you guys be the best man you can be. So you guys can be a strong man. You know what I mean? So that's what it's all about. Making y'all better. So let me know what other topics you want me to talk about. But again, until next week, hope y'all are safe. And I will see y'all then. And always remember, the strongest man is the happiest man.